Hello everyone and welcome back to another episode of Tech Tutorial Tuesday. Today we'll be covering how to add and remove additional email accounts from your Outlook. Adding and removing inboxes is a great feature to know how to do in your Outlook. Um, if you manage multiple inboxes, if you have to send and receive emails from miscellaneous inboxes besides your personal one, it's a great tool and feature to know how to do to manage your Outlook more efficiently and keep everything in the same place. So up here in the top left, I have my favorite inboxes set, which we'll discuss how to do in a few minutes. Um, but you'll see here I have my personal inbox at the top and then a few other miscellaneous inboxes below it that I help manage. So these are just going to be your favorites, um, just a quick link to get you into the inbox. And then down below here on the left sidebar, you can actually get into the details of those um, different inboxes. So first we'll look at how to add an inbox. So for today's example, I'll be adding um, an investor services inbox that I usually have attached to my Outlook. So we'll go ahead and we'll click file and then add account. Now the first thing you'll need to know here is the actual address of the inbox. So we'll go ahead and we'll add that. And once you have that entered, click advanced options, click let me set my account up manually, and then click connect. Now Outlook's going to verify that this address exists, you know, that you typed it in correctly and that it's in our directory. Um, so this may take a few minutes um, when you're first doing this. Uh, so we'll let this load up and as long as the address is correct, um, it'll just spin for a minute here and then it will take us to the next step. All right, so now we're on our next step here. Um, we'll go ahead and we'll click exchange for this. And then we'll get our last step here, um, which is how many, um, how long of a time period to download the um, emails in the inbox. So we're going to go ahead and keep this um, cash exchange mode set to checked. And then down here, we're going to want to download all the emails in the inbox so you can see them, um, you know, up to an unlimited pass time. Um, so we'll go ahead and we'll just move that to all and then we'll click next here and then you'll get the message um, that your account has been successfully added if all the steps um, were done correctly. So we'll go ahead and we'll click done. So now we're actually going to close out of our Outlook um, and then restart it to get our um, to get our new inbox. So we'll go ahead and we'll close out then we'll open in uh, Outlook again and then we should get a pop-up here that asks us for the username and password. So now you'll need to know the username for your um, for your added inbox, and you also need to know the password for the email account. These, this is all information that you would be able to get um, from myself or Dima if you ever need help adding the inbox. Um, and then we'll go ahead and we'll click remember my credentials here so we don't have to do this every time Outlook opens. And then we'll go ahead and we'll click OK. So if that information is correct, Outlook should open with your new inbox. Here's a perfect example now. It's also asking me for my personal um, email password. Um, so when you're connecting your inbox, you always want to uh, pay attention to what email address it's asking for in the top here. So it's wanting to connect my, um, my personal email here, but it's using the um, new inbox's username. So if you ever get this, you can click more choices here and then click use a different account and now you'll enter your personal email account or personal email account information or whatever information is attaching to um, this email address that's displayed up here. So I'd enter my username and my password and I'll click remember my credentials again and then I'll click OK and it should open my Outlook. So let that process. We'll come back down here to our new inbox and we'll see down here at the bottom here we have our um, our new account added so we can go ahead and click the drop down arrow here see the details of that inbox and now you'll see that um, it doesn't display automatically on the um, favorites up here um, but you can quickly add it here by right clicking on the inbox name here and then click add to favorites 
and there we go. Now we got it at the top bar, and we have our um, additional inbox added successfully. Now I can send emails and receive emails from this inbox um, as I go. So that's adding the inbox, and now removing the inbox is just as simple here. Um, we'll come up to File again. This time we'll go to Account Settings, and then Account Settings again. And here we have all of our um, additional inboxes displayed. You just want to highlight the inbox you're going to remove. Click the Remove X, and then Yes. And that inbox uh, removes from the left side and also removes from the favorites. And now, just as quickly as we added it, we removed it. That concludes this week's episode of Tech Tutorial Tuesday. Thank you all for tuning in, and we'll see you next week.